Here we go. Oh. Those are the doors right there. It's like crazy to even like be back, you know, doing these things. So I just finished a rehearsal with the Callisto Quartet and there are some thoughts that I have about it. These are my rehearsal reflections, let's put it. And I think it would help other composers too when they rehearse with other musicians. So I have six tips for you. Here's tip number one. Keep your comments short. Your musicians are there to probably rehearse other pieces and your piece, while you know it's your baby, they have two other or three or four other babies to consider when they're rehearsing their music. Tip number two, have your constructive comments last. What I mean by constructive comments. Oh, can can you make the tempo faster here? Oh, can you play a little softer here? Can you play a little louder here? Oh, can your intonation be a little better at this spot? These are constructive comments. These should go last. What should go you first? Oh, those are amazing whole notes. Excellent job. Nice. Oh, your half note, that was perfectly in tune. Great. Good comments go first. Number three, go in chronological order, either front to back of your piece or back to front. Don't do this jigsaw puzzle where you go from measure five, then you go to measure 200, then you go to measure 100. It's confusing and it doesn't help the continuity that much for a musician. Make sure you go in chronological order, front to back or back to front. Your musicians will thank you for it. Now this one might seem like an obvious one, but make sure to write in your edits as soon as possible or as soon as you get home. I can't tell you the number of times that I've came back from a performance, maybe a week, two weeks later, and I go up to sit down and re-edit the piece, and I forget what we changed. Don't make this mistake. Fix your edits as soon as possible. Heading back from an amazing dress rehearsal, and now it's starting to rain. Hopefully it's not gonna rain during the actual show, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Tip number five, say please and thank you a lot. Please and thank you, please and thank you, please and thank you constantly. Make this a habit when you are rehearsing with your musicians and just in daily life in general. Please and thank you. And last but not least, while it's pouring down here, I still wanna give you tip number six. The musicians will be just as nervous to meet you as you will be to meet them. So be cognizant of this fact, be courteous of this fact, and everything will go smoothly as planned.
ready, Tim? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, you better be ready. I'm born ready. You better. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick these colors too? I picked two out of the three colors. This guy picked the other one. I picked the other color. We'll yeah. see how it goes. <laughs> 